An external source determined the internal response. What does that mean? That means you are led by whatever external source you allow to create an internal response. Because well, I'm led by the Spirit. Not if you allow an external source to cause a preconditioned response. Now, the real you is the inner you. That's the spiritual you, okay? Remember the temple? Okay, remember they had three parts. They had the outer court, they had the holy place, and then they had the holy of holies. Well, your body is the outer court, okay? The, this holy place, that's your soul. And the holiest of holies, that's your spirit, right? So your soul is supposed to be holy. Now your soul, and we could use soul, we could use mind, the, the, the mind, well, we'll look at it here. Let me, I'm gonna get it specific in a certain order. So the outer court, the holy place, holiest holies, uh, the body, the soul, the spirit. Now, you are to present your body a living sacrifice. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind, which means you train your mind to think like your spirit. Your spirit, if you're born again, your spirit thinks correctly. Your job is to renew your mind so that your mind thinks like your spirit. When your mind and your spirit think Correctly, it's two against one. They will override your body and your body will do what it's supposed to do. If your body doesn't do what it's supposed to do, it's because your soul let it. Because your soul is what connects to your body and your soul is also connected to your spirit. And so, but the soul allows the spirit to flow through or doesn't based on how renewed your mind is. Bottom line, is the way it comes down. Now, okay. <clears throat> your spirit is not emotionally driven or led. Why? Because your spirit doesn't feel like that. Your spirit knows. It just knows what is. It is what is. And it's not honestly led astray in different ways, to be honest, once you're born again. 